Welcome to CSA Biology DCP. I am Mr. Wilson from the DCP Academy. Today we are looking at the 2015 specimen paper. Now, if you are watching this video, then you have interest in doing the biology CSA examination. It might be just time for you to like, share, and of course subscribe. And when you subscribe, click that notification bell and select all to be notified as soon as there's a new publication. You want to also like this video so you'll be Add it to your playlist and you want to share it with your friends so that more of its kind will fall in your playlist. Now be reminded that we are having classes all year for biology. And once it's close to biology, we are having the Martins for the exam. So you want to check that out. The number will be in the ad somewhere in this video. Let's hop right into the question for which we are only going to be supplying answers and the questions. Let's go. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. Item 1 to 2 refers to the following diagram labeled 1 to 4 and 5. Found in a school garden. Which of the following characteristics could be used to classify these organisms in two groups? We could use the number of wings. There are those with wings and those without wings. The distribution of organisms labeled 1 could be studied using it's a moving organism, jumping up, flying. Item 3 refers to the following food web from a tropical forest. The list of herbivores in the food web includes iguana, beetles, larvae, and bird. The list of herbivore, now while this is a parasitic vine, it must be noted as well that it is a plant. Dada weed, so that makes it a herbivore or herbivory. Item 4 refers to the following relationships between some organisms, barnacle and a shark back, shark and man, man, malaria, protozoa. Which of the following correctly identifies these relationships? It's going to be B, barnacle and the shark. That's going to be commensal. Neither one organism benefit, the other is not armed. Two is going to be predator prey relationship. The predator hunts, kill, and feeds on the prey. And malaria and protozoa, that's going to be parasitism. One organism benefits while the other is armed. Five, which of the following statement about a food chain is true? Energy from the sun is transferred from one organism the subsequent organism. But which of the following would plants not compete? Plants would not compete for food as they are using light energy to make their food. 78 refers to the following diagram, which represents an animal cell seen under an electron microscope. Some cells structures are labeled. So A, they are the nucleus, B, the cytoplasm, C, vacuole, and of course, these going to be the mitochondria. In answering item 7 to 8, each option may be used once, more than once, and not at all. Which of the structure is responsible for energy? That's going to be D, the mitochondria. Consists mainly of water. That's going to be B, the cytoplasm. Which of the following pairs of phrase does not distinguish between plants? Have no cell membrane. That's not true. Have a cell membrane. So see, there is going to be the answer. Item 10 to 11 refers to the following graph, which shows the activity of two enzymes in the human digestive system. Enzyme 1 will function best in the environment. We're talking about pepsin and renin. Which of the following is most likely enzyme 2? Trypsin, an alkaline environment. Item 12 to 13 refers to the following diagram, which represents a metabolic process carried out by 
plant. The oxygen shown in the diagram comes from the water that is supplied for photosynthesis. 13. To which of the following group does the food produce sugar? You would understand that sugar is pretty much soluble to water, while starch is not. The sugar is then converted to starch that is actually produced. Item 14 to 15 refers to the following diagram, X and Y, which illustrates an ferment of a metabolic process taking place in light. Now, the aim of this experiment is to determine if carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. How do we know? We know because potassium hydroxide is used to remove carbon dioxide from the setup. So if we are doing a fear test, we really just want to remove one variable. And the variable here that is removed is potassium hydroxide. So clearly that tells us that the test is to determine if carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. Before the experiment is set up, the plants are placed in a dark cupboard for about 24 hours. This step is necessary to ensure that any starch produced is removed from the leaf. If it's a fear test, just we want to just remove one variable. So if we remove the starch from the leaf and we're supposed to put a potassium hydroxide in the setup and prevent any air from getting into that bell jar, then we will be sure that it is a potassium hydroxide that is responsible for the plant not being able to photosynthesize, as all other conditions are kept. 16. Which of the following is important in the diet to develop strong bones and teeth? That's going to be calcium. Calcium has so many functions. It tells with the heartbeat, it tells with nervous, it's nervous uh, responses, it helps with clotting, and it also helps with muscle contract. Which of the following organ involves in digestion produces no digestive enzymes? That's going to be the liver involved in digestion but does not produce any enzyme. The stomach there, pepsin and renin, pancreas is going to be sending out a lot in the pancreas. The product of aerobic respiration are aerobic respiration will give you carbon dioxide, water and energy but there's no energy here so the best answer is going to be after vigorous exercise the muscle involved show a marked increase in the concentration of lactic acid item 20 to 22 refers to the following diagram of a model showing how breathing takes place the part of a model which represents the diaphragm is a Plunger. Which of the following would most likely occur when the plunger is moved in the direction of an arrow shown in the diagram above? The balloon would expand because the pressure inside would have decreased. So it makes room for air to be pulled in. 22. When the plunger is moved, the balloon function like this, the alveolus. If the alveolus wasn't there, then we could say that it functions pretty much like the lungs. 23. The following are description of blood vessels. Thin wall, large lumen, takes blood away from organs and tissue. Thin wall vessels adapted for diffusion, close to cells. Thick wall, small lumen, take blood to organs and tissue. One is going to be the vein, two is going to be the capillary, and three there the artery, making the function of valves in the vein is to prevent the backflow of blood. When a person receives a vaccine, his her immune system is stimulated to produce antibodies. 26. On what type of day is the rate of transpiration likely to be lowest? 
cloudy and a cool. 27. The kidney blood vessels absorb most water from the loop of inlet. Item 28 to 29 refer to the following section through a kidney with part labeled A, B, C, D. Match each of the items below with one of a part labeled above. Each part may be used once, more than once, or not at all. Site of urine collection, that's going to be C, the pelvis. Site of osmoregulation is going to be B, in the medulla, where we're going to be having the loop. Item 30 refers to the following diagram, which represents a seedling growing in the dark. The plumule of a seedling is showing a negative response to gravity. So the plumule is going to be that shoot part, while a radical will be the root part. Here the shoot is going against gravity. Please follow for part two of this video. We'll complete the other 30 questions and make them available. Be reminded to like, share, and subscribe. And when you do, be reminded to click that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there is a new publication. Remember, you can sign up to our classes online or you may join our Martin if you have not done the exams as yet. Thanks much for watching. And as I usually say, study to show thyself approved.